guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new crochet tutorial for you. Woo! Crochet tutorial. We are going to make this crochet pillow. Yay! I think this is a super fun project, really soft. This yarn has this variated colors. You can pick any type of yarn you like. I'm going to show you how you can modify this pattern for any kind of yarn you want. So let's get going. I'm going to show you how I made it. All right, let's get going. A few things you need to get started. You need your yarn, and it doesn't really matter what kind of yarn it is, as long as it has like a self-striping. You can see here how the colors slowly change, and here is my one side of the pillow. So basically what we're gonna do is make two circles, and then we will stitch them together and insert our pillow form. So here's the pillow form we're going to be using. I'm going to teach you how to adjust your circle size to accommodate any type of yarn that you would like to choose and any type of pillow size you would like to choose. We're basically just going to make a circle. And once that circle gets about the same amount of size around as our pillow form, then we'll stop and we'll make our second circle and then we'll stitch them together. So you will need some yarn. I'm using three skeins. You will need a coordinating crochet hook, so whatever that is, and then you'll need a pillow form. Mine is 16 inches round, uh, but you can, any round pillow. This pattern will work for any size round pillow. I'll show you how to modify it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take your yarn out from the center of your skein if you're using this type of yarn. We are gonna begin our circle with a magic circle. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to do it and I have an entire video dedicated to how to do magic circles if uh, this part confuses you a little bit. You're gonna hold the tail in your hand, wrap it around a few fingers, bring that through, make a little stitch, and then we're gonna do seven half double crochets in this circle. Half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. There should be three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. So we're gonna do that seven times that was one, here is two, three, four, five, If you need to pull on your tail, go ahead and do that. So we did five, six, seven. Here's how it looks. You wanna take your tail, pull on that. So that it closes up your circle. Now we want to slip stitch in this first stitch here. And a slip stitch is insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through the two loops so that now we have our completed circle. Now we're going to chain two. And now we're going to begin increasing our rounds. So the next thing we're gonna do is place two half double crochets in each stitch going all the way around. We are not going to use this first stitch that we slip stitched into. We're gonna start here. We're gonna start here, okay? So, yarn over, insert your hook, two half double crochets in each stitch. 
There were two. So before we chain two, so we are going to do our top chain from the turning chain. So here's one, two. So we are going to grab that guy, slip stitch, and there we have round one. Right now we are going to chain two, one, two. Okay, and so we're not going to go in this first chain where our turning chain is and where we slip stitched. We're going to come over to the next one, okay? Now we are going to do two half double crochets. There's one, two, so there's two half double crochets, then we're going to do one half double crochet, and then we're going to do two again. Okay, so now we're going to start our increases. All right, so now we did one half double crochet, and then we're going to do two. And we're going to do this going all the way around. So then one, And then two again, all half double crochets. This entire project is half double crochet. Half double crochet is actually one of my very favorite stitches. So there's two, so now we need to do one, then two. And this is gonna be basically the pattern going all the way around. And I'll show you how to do it. And that's why we can modify this project in order to make it for any size yarn and any size pillow. Because basically you're just going to keep making a circle until the circle is big enough. And then you'll stop. So that's why it makes this a very versatile project. All right? So here's one. We have two. There's one, we have two. Okay, so when we get back down to the beginning here, don't mind my cat, we have this st stitch here that's kind of at the base of that turning chain. Okay, this stitch right here, this stitch right here is where we are not going to put a stitch but we are going to put one in this guy. If you're a beginner and that doesn't quite make sense to you, it's not going to be a huge deal. So don't stress out too much about that, but just so that you're aware, I'll, I'll be... And we're going to get the top turning chain. Chain two. And we're not going to put it in this first chain, we're going to do it in this one. And you can, you can tell because you have the two stitches here. And that's where we're going to place our other set of two, right? Because we're going to start it off with two again, so let's do one, two. And now what we're going to do is put two stitches. So before the last round we did two in one stitch. So two half double crochet half double crochet one, two half double crochet, half double crochet one. Now we're gonna do two half double crochet, half double crochet two times, so one, two, like this, okay? So this is one of the rounds that always confuses people. So we have two in the same stitch here. Now we're gonna do one, and then the next one, so two consecutive stitches. So we did two, one, two, and now two again, in the same stitch and you know that you have it right if you're doing it in between the two that you did in the last round. Then we're gonna go two consecutive, 
two in the same. Now this is basically all you're going to do going all the way around. I'll give you a hint. It's just, it's so simple. So basically the next round we're going to do three instead of two consecutive stitches. We're going to do three consecutive and then four and then so on. And for however large you need to make your pillow front, you're going to know your circles and you're going to make two of them. We have two, one, two, two again. And that's why you can use any yarn you like, any size yarn that you like. This is a really easy way to make this project your own. Okay, so we're skipping this guy. All right, and here's how our circle is looking. I'm going to show you a little bit closer up. So we did our initial magic circle. Then we did two half double crochet in each stitch going around. Then we did two, one, two, one, then we did two, one, two, two, one, two, so two consecutive stitches next to one another. Now, chain two, half double crochet, we're gonna skip this guy, we're gonna go in here, two in that first stitch, And now instead of two consecutive stitches, we're going to do three. All right, so there's two. One. Two. Three. And this is a little hint. Here's our other two. We're going to place two half double crochet in the space in between the two. All right, so remember yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, and then we're gonna do, so we did two, one, two, three, two again here. We're gonna continue that going all the way around. End of that round, we have done our two, one, two, three, then two. Now, at this point, I want you to evaluate and see, is this waving? If you're getting any waving going around your circle, what you need to do is have less stitches in your magic circle. So we started with seven. You would need to go down to six and try that. Each yarn size and hook size might be slightly different. So if yours is a size five, my yarn is a size five, and my hook is a P hook. So if you have something similar, then these numbers are gonna work for you. But a little trick, even if you do a different number in that magic circle, the process is still the same going all the way around. You still do however many in the center, then you do two in each stitch going all the way around, and then you continue with your increasing where you do the two, then one, two, then one, two, then two, two, then two, two, then three, two, then three, and then we're gonna just continue going around all the way till we get to the proper size. What we're gonna need to do is make two of them, okay? So this is the other side that I've already completed. You want to make them the same size, however big that is. If you have really chunky yarn, you're going to have less rounds. If you have very fine yarn, you're going to be doing more rounds. So you're just going to continue this all the way around. And you just want to ballpark it, meaning you have a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give. So you want this to fit snug over your pillow form. What I'm going to do is take this side and I'm going to make it large enough to match this circle that I already created and then I'll meet you back here and we will put them together. Now if you run out of yarn, this is how I connect my yarn. Basically here's your two tails and I just tie them in a knot. And then continue with your stitching. So we're doing our half double crochet and then the tails will be in there but just wrap them in so that they're hidden as you finish your stitching. So here where you have these tails, just include them in your stitch as you go along and then they will be hidden. You won't have to weave them in later. So we're almost done. Continue stitching all the way around until your circles are the same size or the correct size for your pillow form. All right, now we have our circles done and I wanted to show you 
you do want to make sure that it doesn't come down too far because there will be a little bit of stretch and we want to make sure that it's nice and snug around the pillow and not floppy at all. Now there are a few ways to do this so if there's another method that you want to use then great. I'm just going to slip stitch it together and I'm going to have these two on the same side and you can see how it's going to come together and then we're basically we're basically just going to slip stitch around this outside stitch going all the way around and then we'll weave in our tails at the end. We have our remaining yarn here. I used um, three skeins of yarn in order to complete this project. If you use a different yarn you probably will have a little bit different results. I also wanted to mention again really quick if your circle is wavy if there's waves that means you have too many stitches in your center circle in that first magic circle that we did where we put seven that means you have too many in there if it's cupping like it's kind of creating like a cup shape that means that you have too few in your center circle so depending on what type of yarn you're using you can make those adjustments as you go but the increasing and all the stitches are the exact same no matter what all right so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna just tie these in a knot here just to give us a good foundation to start with now here's our um, tail here I'm going to insert my hook. We want to leave a little bit of a tail so that we can weave that in and it will be nice and hidden later on. So we're going to insert the hook and then pull this through. And then we'll bring the tail, the free tail, we'll make we'll bring the free tail all the way through just to kind of secure that. All right. Now we have a, a loop on our hook. We're basically just going to ready, insert your hook, pull through. All right, so we have a loop on our hook. Insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on the hook. Don't worry, I'll show you a bunch more times. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you gotta pull through the loop on your hook. And this is just your basic slip stitch. So keep going all of the way around your pillow and I'll meet you back at the beginning. All right, now we're coming up on the end here. If you have some extra stitches on one side or the other, it's not a big deal. Just make sure everything is nice and secure. Now in order to finish it off, we're gonna go kind of over here, just make sure everything is secure, right? Okay, so we're back to the beginning. We're gonna leave a little bit of a tail and give it a trim. And then pull that yarn through so we can tighten it down and it's secure. Now we do have these tails so we can um, weave those in or you know we can kind of like knot them up and tuck them inside. Just make sure that they are hidden. We're done. Our pillow is complete. 
All right, what did you think about that project? Really easy, right? If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And of course, the description box under the video is jam-packed full of links and other fun things for you guys to check out. You can also uh, sign up for my newsletter over on my blog, my website, melaniekham.com. And you won't miss out on any of the fun things coming up this fall. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.